working on the 47 Ford pickup. So I have the distributor off. It's over on the bench right now. And uh, I'm at the point where I'm ready to start timing it. I've replaced the, the points in it. The points that were in it were absolutely toast. And uh, I've got them replaced. But now we need to go ahead and time them up. Now, I don't have a Wilcox timing fixture. That's how most folks would do it. They work great, and they're very accurate. However, I can't afford one. I don't know anybody that has one, and I don't own one, so I'm gonna have to come up with something different. Come take a look. Let's see what we can do. All right, so we've got our distributor sitting here on the bench, and I've already got these points installed, and I've already gapped them. Now, you're gonna wanna gap these points at 14 to 16 thousandths. Now you're going to do that by taking a pair of pliers. You should be able to turn it by hand, but I use pliers because I feel like I have a little more uh, adjustment there. You're going to take that rotor and you're going to rub those rubbing blocks right up on top of one of those lobes. Now once on top of the lobe, you'll check your point gap. Again, 14 to 16 thousandths. When I set mine, I set it at 14 and check to see if a 16 would go in. A 16 would not, so I used it kind of like a go, no-go gauge. Now, from here, we need to time the points. And that's where, well, I don't have the timing fixture. So I had to come up with something different. After some research, I found that there's some measurements you can take on the back side of this distributor to get this rotor clocked into a position where you can check timing. And it's straight edges and measuring, and then you can lay a straight edge on here and try to figure it out. But I thought, well, that's a little too much work. So I made this guy. This is a timing jig. It's very simple, there's nothing much to it, but this will make your life much easier. So to start with, we're going to find the edge of this tang that is the widest. Now I have a handy dandy straight edge over here in the toolbox, if I can get a hold of it. And we're going to take that straight edge, we're just going to measure each side of this. And we're going to find the widest edge. So for my case, this edge is the widest. That is offset. That's there for a reason, is to help clock this when you put it back on the truck. So we're going to actually be using the wide side of it. So I'm going to turn it to where the wide side is on the side of the vacuum brake. And I'm going to take my timing jig, we're going to slide it in that first mounting hole, and then we're going to align these tangs up just like that. And that's all there is to it. We have now positioned this distributor in a way that we can go ahead and time the points. So when we flip this over, we're going to look at this distributor like it's on the truck, which in this case, it will be mounted like so. And the left side breaker points which would be, this would be the left side. Don't get it twisted, because you're gonna be sitting in a truck like this. So this is your left side breaker points. Again. Hey guys, as I was editing this video, I realized I made a mistake. When I showed you guys the set of points to check the timing on, uh, the ones that should be gapped open in like four to six thou with the jig in place, I pointed at the wrong set. Uh, it's actually the other set of points. So to make sure I'm clear, when you're looking at the distributor face on and you got your vacuum brake pointing up, the points that are on the right hand side are the ones you want, okay? Those are actually technically called the left side points, but that's if you're looking at the points from inside the driver's seat. But in this case, with it off the truck and we're hanging on to the distributor, they're on the right hand side when you're looking down on them, okay? That's it, back to the video. Still holding that jig in place, I can check to see if these points are just beginning to open. In this case, they are. And you can double check that by checking where the rubbing block is. It should be just about to ride up on a lobe, but not on top of it. We don't want these fully open. Again, this is just beginning to start to open. I measured my gap. My gap's running somewhere between four and five thou. That to me seems okay, because that tells me the points are on the move, heading towards a full open. So I am happy with that timing. Now, if yours is not that way, up here at the top of the distributor is a slide mechanism. You loosen up this screw and you can slide this guy back and forth along the side of the distributor housing and adjust the timing of these breaker points. 
You do that, set this probably between four to six thou, you should be in good shape. Now, that sets base timing. All your other timing is going to happen on the truck. So if you're going to time it for different fuel or modifications, you're going to actually end up timing it with the vacuum brake. And we'll talk about that later. But for this particular issue, this distributor is set up. Now, this method should work just fine for both the crab distributor style and the two-piece distributor style like I have here. If you have any issues with it, leave a comment and uh, maybe we can work through it together. But that's how I time this distributor. If you guys need one of these timing jigs, give me a holler and uh, I can produce one and get it out to you. In fact, I'll probably make a few just to have on hand. And that way, if anybody calls me and says, hey man, I need one, I can get them out to you right away. Now, remember, I'm not Amazon Prime. It's not going to get there in two days. I can't afford the shipping nor can I produce enough of these at one time if there's a bunch of you that need one. Now, I will try my best. I'll try to get stuff to you within a week, but that's not a promise. All right, well, that concludes today's video. Short and sweet, but I think it'll be very helpful. I pulled my hair out for a couple weeks trying to figure out a way to do this where I didn't have to purchase one of those Wilcox timing jigs. And quite frankly, I just didn't want to spend the money on it for something I'm not going to use, but two or three times, probably my lifetime. So... Building this little plastic jig seemed like the best option. I assume most of you will probably have the same thought. So if you're interested in purchasing one of those, I'll leave a link into the description below to a place where you can purchase one. And um, hopefully that will help you with your timing endeavors like it has me. Now, uh, we'll be putting that distributor on this truck in the next couple days. And uh, we'll show you the process of doing that. Running some new plug wires, new plugs, and uh, probably cleaning up the old wire covers which I've got here in the back of the truck. They're pretty rusted up but uh, I think we can clean them up, uh, sandblast them, clean them, uh, probably just paint them black. Um, I think they're originally chrome uh, however I'm not going to get these chromed. This is a budget build and uh, I don't see a reason to chrome them so again whole purpose of this is just to get this truck running as quickly as possible and on the road because that's how you stay interested, in my opinion. So you can do stuff afterwards to pretty it up, but these will be good enough for now. So I guess that's it. I want to thank you for watching, and uh, subscribe so you can see more of these videos. I know sometimes we have a little bit of a mixture of stuff going on, uh, but you're just seeing a glimpse into my everyday life. This is what I do. I, I tinker with a lot of things, and uh, I'm just sharing it with you. So feel free to subscribe, or if you feel like you want to try and support the channel, I'll leave our Patreon link in the description below. Consider subscribing to Patreon and supporting us on a monthly basis. You don't have to give very much. The base tier is $2, but that helps me get equipment so you can hear me better, like this new microphone I'm using today. And it also helps me uh, spend more time doing videos and makes me have a little bit of a reward for the work I'm putting in. There's a lot of time that goes into editing these and uh, getting them ready to go. So I appreciate your time, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.